Hi, welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 1-15 from R.C. Hebeler, Mechanics of Materials 8 Edition. Now, according to this problem, we have to determine the resultant internal loading on the cross section through point C of the pliers. There is a pin at point A and the jaws at B are smooth. So now, to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw all the support reactions and the forces that are acting on this plier. Since the plier is symmetrical, so we are only going to consider the front part of the plier and we will do our analysis on the front part of the plier. So at point A, I have a pin support. So I have a vertical support reaction and the horizontal support reaction. Similarly, at point B, because of the compression of this object that has been enclosed in the jaws of the plier, I have a normal reaction. At point A, I have a pin support, so I have a vertical support reaction and the horizontal support reaction. Also, because of the compression of this object, the circular object at point B, I have a normal reaction as well. Let's label them. So this right here is AX and this is AY and let's call this BY, which is basically the normal reaction because of the compression of the object. Remember that we have only applied our analysis on the front symmetrical portion of this plier. We are not considering the backward part of the plier. So now we can apply the equations of equilibrium. So first equation would be summation of moments at point A equals to zero. I'm considering the counterclockwise direction as positive. And why I have selected the point A because it has the maximum numbers of unknowns. So AX and AY will not produce any moment about point A because they are passing through it. So there is no moment arm for AX and AY about the pivot point, which is the point A. The BY is trying to rotate the plier in counterclockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by the BY will be taken as positive and it has a moment arm of 40 millimeters, which can be written as 0 0.04 meters. And since we are only considering the front portion of the plier, so we don't have to consider this 20 Newton force. We will only consider this 20 Newton force. The 20 Newton force, this one, is trying to rotate the plier in clockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by this 20 Newton force will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is 120 millimeters, which is basically 0 0.120 meters equals to zero. So from here, BY comes out to be 60 Newton. Now for AX and AY, we can apply the summation of forces in x direction equals to zero. And since we have only the horizontal AX force, so AX is zero. Similarly, for AY, we can apply the summation of forces in y direction equals to zero. I'm considering the up direction as positive. So we have BY minus AY plus 20 equals to zero. Since we already have calculated the value for by which is 60 newtons, so if we substitute it into this equation, then b then ay comes out to be 80 newtons. These are the values of our unknowns. Now, if I draw a section at point C to determine the internal loadings, then the section of the plier between the point C and the point B would look something like this. We have the normal force at the point C, a shear force, a bending moment. I'm assuming the bending moment as in the counterclockwise direction. Let's call this M. This is VC, the shear force at point C, and this is NC, the normal force at point C. Similarly, I have a normal force reaction at point B. 
let's call this by so now again we have to apply the equations of equilibrium to find the values of m vc and nc so for nc the normal force at point c we can apply the summation of forces in x direction equals to zero i'm considering the right hand side as positive so nc comes out to be zero so this is our first answer for vc we can apply summation of forces in y direction equals to zero i'm considering up direction as positive so we have vy minus vc equals to zero so from here vc comes out to be by which in turns is equals to 60 newtons so this is our second answer now for the bending moment m we can apply summation of moments at point c equals to 0 i am considering the counter clockwise direction as positive vc and nc will not produce any moment about point c because they are passing through it so they have no moment arm with respect to the point c but we have to consider the internal bending moment which is the m and it is acting in the counter clockwise direction so it is taken as positive the by is also trying to rotate the part of the plier in counter clockwise direction about point c so the moment produced by the by is also taken as positive and the moment arm this moment arm this is the moment arm from point b to the point c and it is actually 15 millimeters as given in the picture figure and 15 millimeter means 0 0.015 meters equals to 0 so from here m is basically negative by which is 60 into 0 0.015 so m comes out to be negative 0 0.9 newtons meter but we can see that we are getting a negative answer for m so negative answer means the direction we had assumed earlier is incorrect Earlier we had assumed M to be counterclockwise, as you can see. So in actual, M is clockwise. So we can also write the M as a positive answer. So M is 0 0.9 newtons meter, but then we have to specify its correct direction, which is clockwise as positive. So this is our third answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.